just want to uh, reiterate a problem I had with my husband. It was about the latter two weeks of December. Uh, in the afternoon, I was out. I was at Uncle Sam's Bingo, and he called the hall, asked for me to call home right away. I called home. He says, you better get home. I'm having pains in my chest. I can't get my breath. Now, my husband also has Parkinson's, and he has a congestive heart. So I drove home as quickly as I could, got him in the car, got him to emergency. Uh, they got him into an examining room, and uh, this man that we think is a doctor come into the room and says, what's the problem? You have pains in your chest. What did you do? He says, well, I have been eating some walnuts. Something got stuck in my throat. I couldn't get my breath. I took a drink of water. I threw the water up. When I threw it up, there was blood. And I started the pains in my chest. I called my wife to come and get me. He looked at me. He says, why did you bring him here? I said, is this not my hospital? Is this not where we are to come when we have a problem? He says, well, don't bring him here again. Where is here? Douglas Hospital. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. He said, don't bring him here again. <laughs> that was doctor. If you want to call him a doctor, that was Luke. And uh, 12. And he was there from 2.30 in the afternoon until 11 o'clock at night, and not even a cup of tea was given to him. Nothing. No food, no, no liquid, nothing. About a week later, we were called by our doctor, who is also affiliated with Dr. Luderman's office. We were called to the office. And our doctor is cambotonic, so he was asking my husband what exactly happened. So he told him. He looked at me, he said, what did that doctor say to you? I said, he told me, do not bring him back here again. I said, and you have this idiot with your office? What is going on here? Dr. Douglas must be rolling out here under the ground with what's going on with our hospital here in town. And I think the sooner the Niagara Health System's waking up and see what's going on, the better off this town is going to be. Otherwise, I would never recommend anybody to move to this town. You have no hospital. And now they're bringing in a, a racetrack, a car racing track. What's going to happen then when you have car crashes? Are they going to fly through the air to the Niagara Falls Hospital? I don't think so. I think we all better waken up here. Thank you.